welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video for you and it's all on how I created this hairstyle. It is a high ponytail with extensions. I had so much fun creating this hairstyle and I'm going to have so much fun rocking it because it's so cute, super fun, super funky. You can spice it up like I did with a little scarf or you can just keep it normal and natural in the way that we have it before. So that's what I'm working with today. If you want to see how I create this look, just continue watching and you'll see exactly how I feel. So this is the kind of hair I'm starting out on. I'm starting out on my freshly stretched hair. Uh, I did this in another video or my video before I should say. And yeah, this is what we were working with. This is my hair. So right before starting the video, I'm just going to show you all the products I'm going to be using in today's video. Um, the star of the show, of course, is this human hair. I got this human hair, believe it or not, online on AliExpress in 2016, and I'm only now using it. Why? I don't know. I always wanted to and never found the time, but now I'm using it. So this is the star of the show. I believe this is a... 12 inch bundle 12 yeah I think it's a 12 or 13 no I don't know I don't know now I'm really bad with this kind of stuff but this is between a 12 and a 14 inch bundle um, I'm using the full normal bundle and then I'm using just two little pieces that I'm going to add in the front to create that bang look and just add to my hair yes I do have a lot of hair but we just want to fake it till we make it that I hit myself and I just want to go yes I did so we'll be using this and then we'll be using some hair bonding glue everyone knows how this looks like this is what I'll be using to stick down those front bangs um, some scrunchies some bobby pins this curly kids mixed texture hair care um, it's called a frizz control paste my cousin told me about it a few weeks ago and I got it online from my hair store. I'll also put the link for them in the description box down below. I'm using red one, but in the black container. I love this stuff and I love wax and I love making sure that my hair is already sleek. So I'm gonna be using two kind of pastes and waxes on my hair. And then of course, just some brushes and something to detangle your hair to make sure it's smooth. And I think that's all that I'll be using on my hair itself. Oh, just taking about this much of my own hair to leave out. That's how much hair I'm going to be leaving out in the front. I'm just going to twist that up for now and put it out of the way. Yeah, once that's out of the way, the star of the show is this back part and it's really essential and important to make sure that you get all of your hair very tight and up to the top. So the first thing I'll do is using my Curly Kids Mixed Texture Hair Care Frizz Control Paste. I'm just going to take some of that onto my hands and because my hair is detangled, I don't have to detangle it. I can just already start with brushing my hair. Throwing all of my hair like this and just making sure I get some all over. I'm just going to prep my arm by putting two scrunchies on it because I find that it's always when you're trying to get a perfect sleek bun that one scrunchie breaks or tends to break and laid. Once we get all the hair up, we can then take our scrunchie and put that into a ponytail. We're going to go ahead and braid the hair that's left on the top into one single braid. Now we can take out and unravel this little braid that we made in the front. So if you would just wear your own hair, you can 
wear hair like this. I want this style just to last a bit longer and have extra rump to it. So what I'm going to do is just glue hair on this side and on that side an extra little single band that I created of the extension and just lay that down. Just hold it for a few seconds so it can stick and then let it go. And there you have it, it's just like a bit more volume. But before mixing these two front parts, I'm just going to be a bit extra and put some extra wax and paste onto my hairline just so I can lay those edges. Now I'm going to be taking my two fingers, putting them about here and rolling the hair up to that part and then taking the hair and just making sure I roll it like this onto my own ha hairline. So just because there's going to be a lot of friction between the extensions that I'm going to be using uh, and my hair, I'm going to lay this on my head to try to eliminate some of the friction because of course we're going to be wrapping the extension onto this. While my hair is in this, it will also help that the edges lay flat. Taking my weave, so this is a full bundle that I have here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to be starting with the tip of our actual ponytail and one end of the weave slash hair extension. We're going to be taking that and just wrapping it around around where the ponytail ends. So I'm wrapping the weave extension around where the ponytail ends. The secret here that I also noticed is making sure to wrap it quite tight in the beginning so that it does not fall out and you have a really secure ponytail. And then what I'll just start by doing is holding it like this and then wrapping a piece around. Holding it really tight at where you stopped and then wrapping the next piece around. And then we'll continue that process all the way up our ponytail. Making sure to of course go up while wrapping because there was a few times when I did this that I forgot to move and halfway up my whole natural ponytail was still out and that's not what we're going for, for of course. also like to do is just taking the easy way out and flipping the hair to the front and just continuing the wrapping process because that speeds it up a bit and puts a bit less pressure on your actual arms. To finish this off you just want to make sure that you collect all the hair that's in the ponytail and you'll feel a weird thing on the inside because you can feel your actual ponytail inside though. Grab a large chunk of where you left off. Separate that from the ponytail and scoop it below your hair so that this can be used to cover the ending of your ponytail. For extra security, just like to take a bobby pin and pin the back of our hair down. And there you have it. This is how we create a high ponytail. What I'm going to do right now is just take down these two front little bangs. I think they sat for long enough, so we should have a little wave going. As you can see, we do. It's cute. And the other one, of course, the longer you leave it, the more wavy and together it will look. Just to spice some things up a bit, I'm going to add the scarf that I used to tie down my hair um, on the ponytail. So what I'll be doing now is just creating a triangle of my square from the cloth that I have and gathering it all together 
just you know like this and then starting from behind wrapping it around my hair I want So this is the final look. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section down below what you think of this ponytail, this high ponytail tutorial that I just created. I absolutely loved making it because it's super fun, super colorful because of the orange sweater that I have on and just very appropriate for the nice weather that's coming up soon. Well, we have to just try and stay positive in these times because the easiest thing to do is to turn on the news or to go to Facebook and become super negative and sad and just lost in what all is going on right now. So I hope I was able to add some color and sunshine to your timeline, your feed and just to your day. Uh, thank you for watching. And I must say before I go, I probably will get a question about what's wrong with the hair or this little ball spot on my head. I was actually bitten by a dog when I was younger on my head, yes. So that's why I have that little like clear spot on my head. It's not that I'm missing hair, I'm not taking good care of my hair and my hair is just dropping out. It's because a dog bit me on my head and I just have some hair that's missing. <laughs> that's the story of the little ball spot. Oh my god. Anyway. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet.